sunrise and sunset are important times of the day, transitioning us between daylight, when we tend to be most active, and nighttime, when we rest. Too few of us actually look at the sky to contemplate what is actually going on. What we observe as the sun rising above the horizon and getting higher above our head is actually a perspective from the ground. The earth turns on its axis and carries us with it. When we face the sun, it is daylight, and when we face away, it is night time. The direction from which the sun seems to rise is called east, and where it sets is the west. But of course, this means that actually it is the earth that turns from west to east. The sun isn't the only object in the sky. The moon, planets, and thousands of stars also appear to revolve in the same direction from east to west due to the Earth's rotation. Let us now examine in more detail the motion of the sun. We'll use the free virtual planetarium software Stellarium to explore in simulated time. In this video, we will use the online version accessible anywhere, but you are encouraged to install the full downloadable version with more features. Remember to set your location and the time when you want to start. We will be using the time options over here in the corner to jump around quite a bit in this video. We will be facing a bit towards the east where we will be able to observe sunrise.
turning towards the west, we can simulate sunset. To better understand perspective, we will first turn on the azimuthal grid. This grid is always centered on the observer with altitude designating angle degrees above the horizon with 90 degrees being your zenith and azimuth which is the angle degrees away from true north measured clockwise. As we view the progress of the sky from a northern mid-latitude location, Notice that while the sky turns from east to west, it does so at an angle. The sun makes a large arc across the sky that does not peak at the zenith, but rather at some altitude in the south. The exact arc that the sun takes will depend on your latitude as well as time of year. For background stars, the arc will depend on latitude, but not on the time of year. Let's now explore the celestial or equatorial grid. This is a fixed grid with coordinates reference to Earth's axis, but otherwise time invariant. These are the true fixed directions of objects in the sky under which the Earth rotates, creating the perspective of a rotating sky. The coordinates are given as declination which is the angular position relative to the celestial equator
90 degrees being the northern celestial pole around which we see the star Polaris and negative 90 degrees being the southern celestial pole. Perpendicular to declination is right ascension. This is the east-west coordinate of an object measured in sidereal time. Notice that relative to this grid, faraway stars do not move and solar system objects only drift very slowly. Make sure to check out sunrise and sunset as well as the views in all cardinal directions from your location at various times of the year and then try the perspective from various different locations.